Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! No more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then! Get this one to find you! Get going! Oh! Hide this on them! Coming out of the alley! Take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. 
Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Gentlemen, how you keep him? Well, girls ain't happy. Let me tell you that for nothing, not happy at all. <laughs> Don't know why. Well, that's not true. I do know why. They're lazy, good-for-nothing brats. Every last one of them. They're whores with ideas miles above their station. 